Welcome, Tyler. Thank you so much for joining me. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. This is a pleasure. Tyler, I wanted you on because I found interest in your solo album, Excommunication, uh, where you write on um, your, your relationship with uh, religion. Um, when you were 29, you brought attention to your sexuality in a three-page feature in the Rolling Stones titled Gay Mormon and Finally Out. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about, um, I just, I found this very interesting. There's, I, I think what really made, what stuck out to me is that you, in your, I, I actually, this was a couple years ago that I was actually listening to your excommunication album, and you speak with such, there's so much passion, and you can really hear in your voice that you were really affected by this. And uh, yeah. I, I love, a, I love a, lot, a couple of the songs, actually. Uh, Midnight, I, I, great song, by the way. Thank you. Um, and so what was the big, what was the biggest struggle, what was the biggest cause for you to leave the Mormon, to, to, to leave religion? In general, yeah. Um, yeah, I think the tricky thing about Mormonism is it's a lifestyle kind of all-inclusive religion. And I think um, when you find yourself in a check checkbox that maybe you feel othered um, and you suddenly see that a lot of the stuff doesn't speak to you or almost sort of others you, you can feel uh, really trapped in that theology. Um, I, I grew up believing it. I went on a Mormon mission for two years, all the while also making a career in music with my band. And we had a lot, I had a lot of entrenched um, emotional ties within the culture as well. But there was a, uh, you know, vehemently homophobic rhetoric that was being pushed, especially in the end of 2015 with a policy that was enacted that sort of further othered LGBTQ members of the of the church. And I felt like uh, I had come out as gay. I'd come out and said, I'm going to still do Mormonism my way. For a few years, I was trying to make that work. And then when that double down of um, exclusion happened, I really had to face the facts before me. I had to hear the language that they were speaking to me in my community. And I suddenly discovered you know, really taking a deep dive into the doctrine and realizing there was a lot made up. You know, I'll plainly say it. I think I don't believe that that church is true. Um, and I had to get out of there because I felt myself going backwards. And I, as a 30, I'm 36 now, but as a 33 year old man at the time, I couldn't risk, uh, regressing. I had done too much work and too much, uh, self-discovery to, to regress and to sort of feel trapped in, again. Um, so yeah, I left and I, at the same time, was writing a pop record and uh, it was under my name. It's called Excommunication. And the record's, uh, it's a real sort of raw, creative, you know, statement on the intersection of faith and sexuality and how I was feeling at the time. I can't imagine, uh, Tyler, what that pain would have been in that so much of your life was built along the lines of these principles from this religion and you just felt so excluded um yeah. and that would have been just an extremely pain like as you described it, as a checkbox other and i just um i'm i'm sorry that you felt like you were i'm sorry that you had to go through and feel that you oh. were in a checkbox other because that's that's not a fun place for anyone like we all we all want to be heard we all want to be loved we all want to be known and um, and so I really thank you. Thank you for that. Are you, are you currently, um, religious in any capacity? Do you, what's your spiritual life look like? You know, the, the troubling thing for me is I, I just, um, I had shaped my whole outlook on, on spirituality, on my moral compass through this, this lens of this very specific, uh, religion. And when you, when you're taught that it's true, when you're taught that, this is, you have all the answers in this, um, excuse me, religion, but then you, you continually feel like you, um, intrinsically are flawed or, or sort of minimized. Um, I don't know. I didn't expect to get emotional about this, but it, it uh, there's nowhere you can go. And I, I was tired of living that life. So for me, it's been a process of rebuilding my whole faith outlook. Um, I don't subscribe to a specific religion. I 
<clears throat> excuse me, I, I didn't expect to uh, get hit in the nerve, but um, I, I really want there to be a point to all this, but I'm okay with not knowing the answers for the first time in my life. And it's, uh, I know I seem a little bit emotional talking, but I think it's still a conflicting thing to, you know, our whole walk as a human on this earth is trying to figure out the point of life. And um, I've, I've found a lot more spiritual uh, progression in my life being outside of the Mormon church. So for me, it's been a rebuilding. I don't have a lot of uh, specific language on like what I call God or what, or, uh, you know, what the afterlife look, looks like, but I, I do have faith. Um, and I do have a bit of, I don't know, just peace that I hadn't had in, in, in a, in a long time, if that makes sense. So I think that's where I'm at, uh, with religion and faith. What have you, what do you, are you still seeking that fulfillment? Whatever the longing in your heart is. I feel really, you know, what's interesting is I feel, I feel fulfilled by uh, getting to know myself and getting to know how I tick. And I, I think for so much of my life, I subscribe to this, this outside search. And I think there's a lot that we intrinsically have inside of us. Um, I don't want to talk like I, I don't want to blaspheme those that like believe in a higher power. For me, I, I find a lot of strength and self-worth within my own self-discovery. So I, I feel fulfilled in that right now. Um, I guess that's where I'm at, you know. Tyler, what do you think is the reason that most religions and philosophies um, in our time have had, um, have taught the self-control of appetite, including sexuality? What do you what do you think the reason that religions and philosophies have that? I've thought about this. I think it's I think a lot of religion comes from control, um, a power a power aspect. I think, um, and I think sexuality is what's troubling about a lot of that rhetoric is that um, sexuality is a component that's that's uh, part of the human experience, and um, and it's almost as if like you're taught, at least within the faith expression that I was raised in, you're taught to suppress and subdue these really natural occurrences. And I, I'm all for harnessing self-control and I'm all for having a moral compass, but I don't think that the teachings of sexuality within um, the religious sphere, I, I, don't, I think it's damaging. Um, I think it only creates further problems down the line. At least for me, I, I saw, I didn't come out until I was 30 years old to the public. And I, I saw a lot of, uh, a lot of my mental health struggles came from that compartmentalizing and that sort of suppression and that hiding aspect that I think is really unhealthy for anyone. But I don't know if I have an answer on that. I think it's morally, more that you can have control over um, a congregation. You can have sort of a, you can wield your power and control uh, over something that's very basic and, and necessary in a human uh, life, you know? Yeah. Tyler, um, these nine minutes fly by, and my, my guys are telling me that I need to cut to a break, but um, I, I think that what you said is so real, and I think that you're, what you experience is something that a lot of people struggle with and I'm I'm really appreciative that you took the time just to kind of get this dialogue going through our show um, Thanks. and um, I I hope that you find that fulfillment in life that you're looking for and I hope Thank you. that any bad tastes that are in your that might be in your mouth from whatever is can be mended in the in down the road and um, Tyler I I this is the first time I've really met you, but again, I just, I see a, a beautiful soul inside of you. And like, I just want to tell you, like, I love you. And I really am sorry for any hate or any other box that you have felt for Thank you. whatever you've experienced because of your attractions. Um, and I, 
I, I, I gotta, I got, my guys are telling me I got to go. Tyler, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I really I appreciate, appreciate connecting with you. I'm hoping that we can connect again. I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. thanks for including me. I appreciate um, you. Guys, Tyler Glenn uh, is part of Neon Trees, just released his new album. 